Hi, today we're reading the story, Olivia, and our job as we listen is to think about what's the big idea of this story. You may have some good observations of details, but I want you to think about what those details teach you about the big idea of the story, Olivia. This book was written and illustrated by Ann Falkner, and it was published for young readers by the Ann Schwartz Book Publishing Group. Olivia. This is Olivia. She is good at a lot of things. She is very good at wearing people out and even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone. So Olivia has to be firm. Notice how she is firm with her little brother, Ian. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog, Perry, and Edwin, the cat. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat and brushes her teeth and combs her ears and moves the cat, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. On sunny days, Olivia goes to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sandcastles. She got pretty good. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees she's had enough, they go home. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your, your, your you know what, her mother says. Of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother.
As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Uh-oh. Time out. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, Mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two. Three? Oh, all right, three. But that's it. When they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too. Looks like Olivia's dreaming. Thank you for joining me today for the story, Olivia. Please take a moment to think about what the big idea of this story is. Again, I know you were able to figure out details from the story, but I need the big idea when you do your writing and when you do your drawing and writing today. Before we leave, let's sing our Writer's Workshop song. Writer's Workshop, Writer's Workshop, we know how, we know how. First you think about it, then you draw the picture. Next add words, next add words. Thank you, bye-bye.